Okay, so uh, this is chapter five, and we will talk about the sample mixtures. And I am going to ask you one plus one. Let's see, yes. Two. Yeah? I am going to dare to you <laughs> this is not true. How about that? So, this is I'm going to say to you. Okay? And mathematically, this is true, but there's a statement that I'm looking look, look, look at the way that I said. I have a one liters of water. Okay? And one liters of water. Well, two liters of water. What are you talking about, right? So that's all. But if you have a one liters of water and a one liters of uh, ethanol, you are not going to get two liters of ethanol or whiskey. Well, vodka, I guess. <laughs> so you're not going to get two liters of this. Can you imagine that? That you're not going to get that one. And the reason is, this is actually a good way of thinking. Liquid, we are talking about, um, I mean, gas, we'll, I'm going to talk about gas mixtures first. That's, that's for sure. But most of our interest is in the liquid and the solid mixtures that make up the phase diagram and so on. And when you talk about liquid, they have already a very extensive attraction, right? That's why they, they, they attracted each other. There's a lot of interaction and so on. So this is what, there's a lot of interaction between us, right? And then let's say, well, if you have, well, I'm, I'm not drawing the arrow anymore, but If you put this together, I guess so we have a two liters of those. But now, I having having the water, okay, that's a water. And then I am going to have ethanol. I'm going to mix them together. And what's going to happen? This is going to happen, right? They want to start to, and we, our, I mean, you have to combine with the experience. Your experience is when you mix two liquid, sometimes you see the phase separation just like oil and water. Sometimes you see that I don't see anything. It just became one homogeneous mixtures. These homogeneous mixtures, you are enforcing this kind of interaction that didn't exist before. So I guess that if they hate each other, they want to expand. If they attract each other, they want to con con make, make a more volume. So this is what they want to actually, this concept is important, and they're going to give you this seemingly the most misleadingly simple way of equation, but this equation is very complicated. Okay, so A1. We call the partial molar quantities. I'm pretty sure the, you know, any chemistry courses was covered to this extent. And this is a, when you say partial quantities, and this is a, only in mixtures, okay? And then the one thing that, that they want to give you is partial molar volume. It is not molar volume, it is a partial molar volume. And what that means is it has a name symbol, they use it with a subscript of J or I. Somebody can put an A. So, I mean, I, I, it's different from my note. But let's, let's just say I'm putting this way. Okay, this is means uh, I'm dealing with, example here, A and B mixtures. Okay, 
and I want to put it in this symbol. And this symbol is what that means is you know you know the molar volume, right? You remember molar volume is volume over n. And what I can what I can say is <coughs> when you add a one moles of stuff, your volume increases this much, and that's how you define the molar volume. Right? So that's the concept about molar volume. Volume divided by number of moles, that's one way to think about it. But okay, I have a stuff here, and I'm adding one moles of water onto the water base. And how much of a volume increases am I going to get? That one is the same as a molar volume. Partial molar volume is different. And partial molar volume using the same concept. I'm interested in measuring the volume change when you add compound A one more. What else am I doing keeping constant while, while you're doing the pressure? Is the volume of liquid even that? You know, function of temperature and the pressure, right? And then what else, what else am I getting it is? N B constant. I'm I'm keeping everything constant. I this this is a scenario we have a big base, a big base, and then that I'm get I'm adding a one one moles of uh, water and see how much of the volume is increasing in this thing. This is a equation simple is misleadingly simple, and I'm telling you this equation will give you very difficult time to understand it, but it's not hard, okay? What, what that means is, first of all, the characteristic of this is, this is a mixture composition dependent. Okay? And they give you this partial molar volume because of the partial molar volume is not like actually what this textbook wanted to know. They want to get warmed up about partial molar volume. The next one, partial molar volume is, partial molar quantity is partial molar keeps free energy. That is a chemical potential in the mixtures and that's the one that probably I'm going to talk about. So I am going to say this meaning, the meaning interpretation is volume increase upon adding one mole of Na to the mixture. So think about the scenario, I am adding A, let's say this is an A, when you're surrounded by B, the volume increase in that scenario versus you are, you are putting A, and I guess I'm just, let's just keep on saying this is a B, and this is an A. And uh, you are adding now, okay, uh, this is what you're adding now. Let's say this is what you're adding. You're saying adding the same one moles of A. The volume increase in this scenario, this mixture composition will be different from volume increase in this scenario. Right? You have uh, everything is A and a little bit of B, so it is a technically the mixture. And by adding one moles of A, there's a volume increase will be there. So the, the partial molar volume for this scenario where A is a solvent and the increase is pretty much similar to the molar volume of pure liquid, whereas this scenario is going to be obscenely different. Right? You're putting in a pool of ethanol and you're putting the water just a one drop and that the volume is changing a lot because of the on 
unseen interaction that you never experienced before. Now, here is a here's a now more detailed understanding now. So this is a zero, this is a one, but we are starting to talk about composition. So this is an ethanol mole fraction. Okay. And then I'm going to, I'm interested in partial molar volume of water in mixtures. There is a one quantity that I know the point. This one. Even I know the value. You know what? When the molar, mole fraction of ethanol is zero, you know what this one is corresponding to? This one is what? Pure water. Pure water. This is like we are, we are talking about pure water. Scene. We are talking about this scenario. Right? I mean, I, I can put an A there. And there's a little bit of B there. But if everything is A, you're adding an A here. Right? How much of the volume increase when you add a one mole of water onto the water? One mole is how many grams? Water? 18 grams. Volume, density of water? Uh, one cc gram, per gram, gram, right? So this is the one that I know. This is an 18 milliliter, or cc per mole. Even that one I know, right? But when you go down here, <laughs> nobody know how to predict it. So this is a this is an equation. This is actual measure data. People can do this experiment. For example, you said, okay, uh, I, this one is not easy. What I can do is, I just big tank, five liters of water, five liters of ethanol. I shake it. I make a mixture. So I'm I'm right here, right? And then I'm going to have all 18 grams of water. I'm going to pour that in. And I want to see the, how the water total volume is increasing. And you are seeing something, I guess in this case, similar. <laughs> I chose a bad example. But look at here. You know what this means? When you have, let's say, 30% ethanol, 10% water, you add 18 grams. The volume increases, I don't know, 20 milliliters. Because of this like interaction they, they have to experience. When you go up here, you add a one, one mole, 18 grams of water. This one is, let's say, 17. This one is like 16 milliliter per mole. I, don't know. I mean, this, this is a unpredictable. I mean, this is a very, this is a case where you have pure ethanol. And then now, this is everything is a pure ethanol. You add it in one more, 18 grams of water, and the volume increases now is about 16. So, like I said, one plus one, it may not be two. In terms of chemically different liquid mixtures, volume does not proportional to each other. Because now you can start to see that the interaction between this liquid molecule the distance and so on. Okay. So that's the partial molar quantity, which is, like I said, composition dependent. Depending on your environment, how many AB contact versus AA contact you have, you will have a different increment on the volume when you add one mole of water, one mole of liquid. And this is even. <laughs> Well, most people would think about you know, this is a, what you call the monotonic. This is non-monotonic. Sometimes uh, this way, sometimes that way. There is no this uh, theoretically predict this one is not easy and not possible. 